Hi. Good morning, Audacious. My name is Mick Whitaker, and along with my wife Wendy, we lead the marriage course. And we're also Connect Pastors for Marriage and Families in Audacious Central. So today I would like to share with you from the book of Proverbs. In particular, Proverbs 10 verse 11 from the Message Version. The mouth of a good person is a deep life-giving well, but the mouth of the wicked is a dark cave of abuse. I've always loved the wisdom of the book of Proverbs for many, many years. And there's just so much in there. And as I thought about which verse to share... I actually got a letter from a child that we sponsor on Compassion. She's called Claire. She's just 11 years old and she'd just written about everyday things going on in her world. But particularly, she she just dropped that verse in there and said it was one of her favourite verses, which I thought was appropriate. Um, so once I was hiking uh, a few years back on, on the Pennine Way with a friend of mine and and it was a particularly warm day. We'd covered more than 20 miles and we were carrying quite a lot of equipment. We'd used up all our water and because we were crossing moorland, there was nowhere to just stop and get some more. So eventually, after a few miles, we found a natural spring. We topped up our bottles, we drank our fill and I'm telling you now, water never tasted that good. And... This is this is the comparison that he's using in this verse. The mouth of a good person is a deep life giving well. So I just want to talk about that for a minute. It's talking about what comes out of our mouths in this proverb. The mouth of a good person is a deep life giving well. The words that you speak to those in your world matter. They bring refreshing just like that water did to my friend and I. Your words can bring life to others by encouragement by comfort, by healing, hope, and spurring others into acts of faith, just to name a few. Jesus said a good man brings uh, good things out of the good that is stored up in him. And that's Matthew 12, verse 35, just the first half of that verse. The second half of the proverb reminds us that, that casual and thoughtless words can do lasting damage. It's like poison in the water. Such words are harsh and critical and judgmental. And we've got to guard our hearts against such things. We've got to guard our hearts because that will spring over into what we speak. We all know the impact of a cruel world. Church, we need to be the source of life affirming words that build up and strengthen those in our world. To be able to do that, we need to store up God's word in us so that we are ever ready in season and out of season. I want you to choose today to be a life affirming believer, a person who like, who others, should I say, like to be around because your words are like drinking from a deep life giving well. Bless you today. Make good choices. Bye.